Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. It is all about racing. In this episode we're going to take a look at this 164 scale Sparky Porsche 911 RSR. Uh, folks, the reasons I kind of showed you the poster is to, to preface this. This was a 2018 special livery. The Porsche factory teams, uh, both the 911 and the 912 cars, board this livery. Uh, this was to celebrate Porsche's 911 GT1 98 overall victory in the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1998, as well as the, the car that participated in the inaugural Petit Le Mans uh, that same year. Uh, the cars will have a special uh, decal memorizing Dave Mirage, who won the inaugural GT1 class victory Petit Le Mans in, uh, in 1998, and I believe that decal is right here. Now, unfortunately, on these little tiny 64 scale cars, it's it's hard to make out some of these decals, uh, even with a magnifying glass. Um, uh, but I believe that is the one. This is a pretty cool and a pretty unique model. Um, you know, bear in mind this is a Sparky, so this is a die cast model. Um, it uh, comes on a plastic base. It does not come with a jewel cover, at least not here in the States. I don't know if you guys in Europe get them with jewel covers, but I don't believe we do. It does have the quick, easy release mechanism on the bottom of it to get the model out should you choose to do so at any time. Uh, I really like this livery. The gold wheels are kind of neat. Um, the livery itself is really, really cool. Um, and this, of course, being a uh, an IMSA car and a pro entry, uh, a couple things you'll note here to identify pro entries is the number banner is always red on it. The mirrors are always going to be red. The end caps on the rear wing are going to be red, and there's also going to be red on the end of the of the of the banner, uh, as you can see clearly with this. Now, red also happens to be a color that you see here and in other places on the 912 car. Those those are green. They glow in the dark, uh, which is really, really neat. Um, and bear in mind that Petit Le Mans, a, cell, a few hours of it, are in the dark. So that's kind of a, a cool thing that they did with it. Um, otherwise, it is a really unique and a cool livery. Uh, interior details are kind of weak. I mean, you, you have something that resembles a steering wheel in there. It ain't much uh, seat. And you do see some of the framework in the interior of the car. Uh, the front of the car is, is, is very nicely done. Uh, you have all sorts of uh, various decals on that. And again, this livery just really pops and stands out as you move around the car. Uh, this is a Porsche 911 RSR. This is you know one of the most powerful Porsches they ever made in the, nine, in the 911 series. This particular one was uh, driven by Patrick Play, Nick Tandy, and Fred McWickey, all Porsche factory drivers. As we take a look at the back, and also bear in mind, too, that this car is a mid-engined Porsche 911. All the RSRs are. They're not rear-engine like the GT3 cars. Uh, there are reasons for that. Uh, more power, better balance, and room for that massive diffuser they put in the back, better downforce. And you can see the wing there being uh, a white. Were this the 912 car, the rear ring would be black, not white. Uh, and the Porsche is also on the underside of the wing as well, uh, which you can see there. And this is a look at the back of the car. Now, if there's one complaint I have with Sparky is that they don't use plastic inserts for their rear lights. They paint them, and that just annoys the living crap out of me because an otherwise gorgeous car. And the paint job is really pretty good, but it's just not the same. And, you know, this is not a Hot Wheel. You expect a little bit more from this, and you should get it. Note the rear diffuser has the red uh, banners on it. Uh, kind of cool. I believe the 912 car, that would be green. And here again, we take a look at the side of it as well. And then we'll get up here and just kind of give you an idea of what the top of it looks like. Really neat. Very, very good looking car. You can pick these up for about 10 bucks. They're not expensive. Um, I believe IXO also makes these cars in a 143 scale. I have looked into that. It's on my list. Just haven't picked it up yet. I have not been able to find a Spark version of it. If I did, believe me, I would jump all over it. But there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care. See you next time.